It's a new year for the space program, 1971. Without seeing a successful mission the entire previous year, you can bet hopes are high, but expectations are low for this one. MXL-01's debut flight crashed and burned, but some could say its configuration and payload was a bit ambitious for a test flight. Its two UA-120 boosters have been stripped away for tonight's launch, and the following mission as well, allowing fewer points of failure and therefore a higher chance of success. Though, as stated in a previous episode, a KOS script inefficiency to control the ascent of a much more powerful rocket than ever used before is what caused the failure. Nevertheless, it's agreed this configuration is safer for a new launch vehicle, called the MXL-00. As for the mission at hand, two MXLs are ready for a two-launch mission theoretically obtain much more of an understanding of space around the moon, as a forefront to conceptualizing sending Kerbals to Earth's celestial neighbor. Radiation, orbital perturbation, navigation, and various other factors are to be collected in three situations the crew will come across on a trip to the moon. Space far above the Earth, far above the moon, and lastly space very near the lunar surface. Two satellites are designed for this mission, Triton-1 and Triton-2. Triton-1 will be placed in a roughly 400 million meter orbit, collecting scientific data in space high above the Earth for roughly three months before encountering the Moon and capturing into a high orbit of the Moon, where it will stay the rest of its operational life. Fuel on board is not sufficient to then bring itself to a low lunar orbit as well, so that will be the sole directive of Triton 2. Triton 1 has plotted its course and is successfully on its way to its intended orbit. Telemetry suggests in due time, Triton 1 is on course for a lunar encounter in three months. As of now, data will stream back to Earth giving valuable insight to conditions high above the Earth. Though this situation is not new for satellites, new experiments have been developed and are present on the Triton satellites, again giving valuable insight. With its array of solar panels, the life expectancy for the Triton missions is assumed to be practically limitless, not only to provide the valuable data mentioned previously, but also to play a role in lunar communications as well, which, since the deployment of TISATs in 1970, is coming along rather nicely.
we wait for Triton 1 to arrive at its destination, the second Triton satellite is on its way to orbit. Once in orbit, a translunar injection is plotted to arrive at a very low polar orbit of the Moon. Once content with parameters, Triton 2 burns to leave Earth's gravitational pull. Arriving at the moon far ahead of Triton 1, the satellite is detached from MXL's upper stage. Now what's left to do is put on the brakes and slow down. Triton 2 is traveling roughly 800 meters per second too fast to remain in a low orbit, but its thruster is not powerful enough to capture in a single pass, and so must capture into gradually less and less elliptical orbits of the moon over the course of multiple orbits, eventually coming to a stable place merely 100 kilometers from the surface, with hardly a sliver of fuel to spare, I might add. from its launch, Triton 1 has reached its destination above the moon, and it must now use its remaining fuel to capture into any orbit it can. And once a stable orbit is established, the mission is left a resounding success. Both satellites from now on will provide scientists on Earth with data for the next few years, drifting silently above the lunar surface at various altitudes with a better understanding of space approaching and around the moon, N9SA now looks to the surface, as landings in the past have been rather, well, unsuccessful. A mission is planned to collect a sample of the surface and bring it back to the Earth for analysis. These missions will be the spearhead to a crude exploration of the surface, but that will have to wait for the next episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out. Would it be